Good morning everybody, welcome to this week, uh, this week's video, our final video of the half term um, and what a wonderful half term it's been. Um, we've stayed safe and well and for the majority of our children um, have avoided any cases of Covid so that is so pleasing for the start of our new school year. Um, in this information video today, it is an important one because it just details the next steps we are taking as a school to keep our COVID cases really low. Um, the details are there for you. If you have got any questions, please contact us. There's also some things for you to do over the uh, school holidays, including taking part in our competition that the People Parliament have launched um, and also um, a workout with Miss. Mrs Abyss. Well, I think it's Mrs Abyss anyway. Uh, have a look on the school website, some things for you to enjoy over half term. Have a great half term. Please, please stay safe. Fireworks season has started um, and also stay healthy and we look forward to seeing you on the 1st of November, everybody at 20 to 9. Take care of yourselves. Have a great half term. We're here if you need us over the holiday, but have a good one. Bye bye. The staggered start times and finish times that we've had in place since the beginning of September has meant that as a school we've stayed healthy. From the 1st of November we will be moving back to our normal start and finish times for the school day. This is part of our phased return to normal school life. Um, we are still in a, a position where we know cases locally are rising and this will be under constant review but we are going to try it we're going to go back to normal time so there won't be staggered start times or collection times um but you will see um from the start times on the screen we are keeping some of the dismissal places the same this just disperses children and adults um a little bit more evenly so Year five, you will still be dismissed from the early birds door. Year six, you will still be dismissed from the main door next to the main entrance and pumes and shooting stars um, from the side door. Year five and six, you will still go up the stairs um, to your classrooms in the morning as you have been. And also pumes and shooting stars, you will go in the door that you've been accessing also. Um, but we hope that this is successful. Um, and I do thank you for your ongoing su support with this. We know it has been uh, difficult in some instances for you, um, but it has kept us all safe and well. And I hope the slow reintegration of life back to normal does help our, our cases stay very low. If I need to change anything because of, of the risk of health um, and case numbers rising, I, I will of course let you know. As part of our staged reintroduction of extra provisions, um, we are waiting to see the impact of bringing times together, um, both drop-off collection and collection times, and just to see the impact of that. I've discussed this with governors um, and also the, its local authority guidance that just at the moment, any additional time that children um, can be in school is just halted um, just because of the increase in cases. So I really do hope this provision can return this half term after the reintroduction of the normal school times and this impact is evaluated. I will of course keep you updated if there are any changes. You will have received a letter today that your children should have brought home um, that just details all of the slides that I've gone through. Um, and again, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. There's the contact details on the side of the letter as well on the front page. So if you do have any concerns and you need to speak to us, please don't hesitate. You will have received a a bumper night safety poster competition. Get your entries in by the 2nd of November because the winners will be announced on the 3rd of November. There are two winners per year group. Each winner will get a delicious prize and their design on the website. Good, Good luck! luck. Thank you to our Primary Minister, our Deputy Primary Minister and our Behaviour Minister uh, for presenting this new competition. It's an exciting competition and something you can get busy with over the half term break.
Now on to something else that People Parliament are organising is the shoebox appeal. Um, this is to help others in other countries that aren't as fortunate as us. You can see the details are here. You may just bring one thing in, in from home and we together as a school will compile and create these box, shoe boxes that can be sent to other countries so children like us and our school community can have a lovely Christmas. Thank you to our primary minister. Don't forget to take regular looks at the school website. We are constantly updating it to make it the best it can be for you, our families and for our children at Wren's Nest. This week, take a look at our new curriculum page. Um, it's just got a different look and is a little bit easier to navigate. So have a look. And as always, if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. This page just details all that we teach your children at Wren's Nest, um, the progression that they go through um, and anything related related to what we do at Wren's Nest for the curriculum. Um, links to our assemblies that again link to the curriculum. Enjoy! Don't forget to this week, an updated feature of our website is the sports news. Here you will see some updates from Mrs Abbas in relation to a workout Wednesday with both Year 5 and Year 6, as well as a wicked workout. Now, I think it might be Mrs Abbas who is presenting and carrying out this workout, but I wonder whether it is. Maybe she turns into something else at different times of the year. You'll have to have a look and see. Something for you to do at home in the holiday. Enjoy it and enjoy taking part in a very active and healthy lifestyle. Don't forget to look on our school website under our curriculum section where you will find our knowledge organisers that not only explain what your children will be learning but also create talking points for you to talk to your children about what they have learnt during their current um, curriculum theme in class. Um, to support this, there's also our autumn curriculum videos where the teachers model what the children will be learning in class and go through what they hope they will cover this term. Have a look. Hope you enjoy them. Any questions about anything that you see on the website to, related to our curriculum, don't hesitate to contact us. I just thought I'd remind you, um, who keeps your children safe in school? Lots and lots of stuff at Wren's Nest keep your children safe in school, from class teachers to phase leaders to learning mentors um, to class mentors. Any grown up in school at Wren's Nest, we, we have a duty to keep your children safe. They're extremely precious to us and very important to us, just like they are you. Um, everybody at Wren's Nest has a responsibility to keep children safe and this is so important to us. There are also some people in school that have specific roles and I just wanted to remind you of those people. Um, myself, Mrs Parks, uh, Miss Harris and also Mrs Smith. We are deputy designated safeguarding leads. And then there's Mrs Fivash, um, Miss Morin, to those of you who remember us, Miss Morin is our designated safeguarding lead. And we have statutory uh, duties to carry out in school to make sure all children and staff um, are safe, are kept safe and are happy in school. So these are the key people um, you would speak to if you have a concern or you want to praise good practice or something you just want to talk to us about. Um, but just be reassured, it's a really safe and happy place to be. Um, and there's lots of people in school that keep your children safe and they can go to about anything um, and they can talk to and that's the most important thing there's always somebody there for them to be able to turn to. Happy half term to you all thank you for your ongoing support we've had a great half term in school um, and your children have learnt lots and I'm sure you'll agree they've made good progress. Stay safe and well we know there are rising cases within Dudley so please um, keep yourself safe and well enjoy half term hopefully the weather will be good um, and if you can jump in some leaves it's a lovely activity to do with your children they love it um, and you you will love it too i'm sure um, we'll see you all monday the 1st of november at 8 40. take care of yourselves we're here if you need us over the holiday you know the contact numbers that they'll follow shortly um, but have a lovely half term 
as you know, we have been celebrating Readers of the Week at Wren's Nest. These are children that are trying really hard and achieving well within their reading. Whether that's learning a new sound in phonics or beginning to blend letters together to read words or whether that's exploring a new genre to read for pleasure. We want to celebrate all of you. This is something that we are really passionate at, about at Wren's Nest um, and we are supporting the children in school to work really hard on to achieve great results within literacy. Let's see who our readers of the week are this week. As you know, well done to all of you, our excellent readers, trying really hard to read new words, learn new sounds, read new genres of books, but also develop your understanding of what you are reading. Right across our school, lots of different skills gained to be able to read. Um, a huge well done to you. We are proud of you. Keep up the excellent work. Now for our Mathematicians of the Week, let's see who they are in early years, key stage one, and who are rock stars of the week. Who's been on TT rock stars um, in key stage two, that's years three, four, five and six. Now for our Mathematicians. Not only are we celebrating academic achievement and progress in literacy and maths, um, we're also celebrating our super scientists at Wren's Nest. So well done to all of you who have tried and tested things, found out how things work and found out the way in which things in our world work the way they do. Well done to all of you. Keep up the excellent science work. I know Miss Wire is very proud of you. Not only. Well done to our winners this week. What great attendance you've achieved. Attendance is really important to us. Uh, it always has been at Wren's Nest because we like you at school every single day. And as parents, you support us in that, bringing your children to school every day, uh, getting them up, getting them out. Um, it can be really hard, but thank you very much for supporting us in, in great attendance. And this is what we want to focus on this year. After a very difficult year last year um, for attendance in schools, we want Wren's Nest attendance to be amazing and wonderful. Well done to our winners this week. What great attendance you've achieved. Attendance is really important to us. Uh, it always has been at Wren's Nest because we like you at school every single day. And as parents, you support us in that, bringing your children to school every day. Uh, getting them up, getting them out. Um, it can be really hard, but thank you very much for supporting us in, in great attendance. And this is what we want to focus on this year. After a very difficult year last year um, for attendance in schools, we want Wren's Nest attendance to be amazing and wonderful. And thank you for supporting us with that. To support communication during the lockdown period, for those of you working at home, we created the email addresses for each of the year groups um, at school. These are still available. So please, if you need to speak to your teacher, you want to drop them an email, whether that's to ask them about something that you've done in school or whether you want to ask them about homework they've set you, or you just want to tell them about something wonderful that you've done, why not drop them an email? Um, they'd love to hear from you. To support as always, please stay connected, pass on any information you receive to people that you know who don't receive it um, and Parent Hub and the school website are the best places to go to access the most up-to-date information. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Lots of ways you are able to contact us now. We've got various email addresses, as you've seen in the previous slides. And we've also got our info address um, that you can get any questions or queries to me directly. Um, the school telephone line, as always, you're welcome to call us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and also the school mobile, that is there for you to call should you need to. And if you'd like to WhatsApp any work, uh, your child's 
is done at home, you are more than welcome to. That function is still available. But you know we've got a very, very clear open door policy at Wren's Nest. We're always here to help you um, and somebody is always there um, should you need them. So please, if you need us, don't hesitate to contact us um, and don't ever think a question is too small um, to ask. That's what we're here for. I hope you've enjoyed our celebration slides this week and sharing in these as a Wren's Nest community. It's become our phrase really during the period of um, the last 12 months. But Wren's Nest is here for you. It always has been and it always will be. So if you, if you do need anything, you or your child or your family, and we can help in any way, please don't ever hesitate to contact us. Um, we are here for all of you and we're all in this together. Have a great weekend. I will see you all next week. Thank you for your ongoing support. Take care.